Good afternoon, Trains Nation. Today is for, uh, Thursday, December 22nd, 2016. This is another video episode of Trains Newswire. We are so glad you could join us today. I'm Steve Sweeney, Associate Editor at Trains. Hi, Jim Ryan, Editor. And uh, Jim, I tell you, um, you know, we are festive today. I was going to say, why are we sounding so serious? Because just a <laughs> couple minutes ago, Diane was saying that we were so festive and relaxed. And jolly. And and Santa's elves. And <laughs> yes, there's the, there's the Santa el uh, element yeah. to this, yeah. this program. I like, that. So I like your tie, by the way. I like your tie, too. Thank That's you. Very it's, nice. uh, it's good. Very nice. we're, we're ready to go for Christmas. Yeah, I think so. Or, or as my children say, Merry Christmas Kwanzaa. We're covering all our bases on that. And I hope they patented that phrase. Yes. We're going we're to make go you a rich man. Or somebody a rich man. Yes, indeed. Um, indeed. Yeah. Well, Jim, you know, we, we like to talk about themes on Newswire. Is there a theme this week? And I almost said Shortline. I almost said this was the week of Shortlines because there's a lot of news. Yeah. You know, some openings in Texas and some things going on out east. But then I thought there's enough crazy stuff going on. And just let me tick off uh, the top four things I got. WMATA fires track inspectors this week for falsifying inspection reports on pieces of track that led to a July derailment and a Ow. lot of injuries. That, that was one. Um, a Pan Am railroader loses his arm this week, Ow. which is really bad. We're, we're very sorry about him. We hear that he's okay and recovering, but still very bad. Uh, a tanker that is a tank truck full of gasoline derails in an ice storm, goes over a bridge, and blows up on CSX tracks I in Baltimore. I saw the video of that. That was just really crazy. Yeah. That was that was that was awful. And then the driver lost, I think, lost his life. In yes. That one. Yeah. I, yeah. That, that is that is pretty sad. Anyway. And then and then a train station burns in Connecticut, on the old New Haven, or New Haven, whichever way you want to say it. So anyway, so I'm going to say this, this is the week of crazy stuff before Christmas. It is crazy stuff. Um, what what picked your interest so far this week? Well, you know, uh, you you me. I'm always a sucker mm. for the traffic figures, and uh, I was just delighted to see coal up two four, two point five percent. You this know, week. This week, I know, yeah. over last year, but, yeah. you know, still, you know, and, and maybe, you know, maybe we're, we started out the month fairly cold and, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm pretty sure the utility stockpiles are down still, but anyway, it's nice to see coal moving. I mean, that's always a, a good thing mm -hmm. on the railroads and, you know, it's been Very a tough good. year, so, uh, it has been. like I said, we've, we've all been hoping for better, but now we can all hope for that, that this trend will continue on a little bit more. Yeah. And, uh, of course, the other thing that, that fascinated me, I'm always interested in Washington, D.C. railroading, is um, Amtrak's already talking about adding extra trains for the Trump inaugural next month That's right. on the 20th. So uh, they're, they're getting ready to add capacity and, and um, make whatever modifications there are to the entrances to Union Station to get people in and out safely and quickly. So, uh, so that's always fascinating to me. And of course, then, you know, one of my favorite locomotives, Norfolk and Western 611, their what? schedule came out this week. 911, what's that? No, not nine one one six one one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that, six, that six big red four eight four down south. Yeah. But anyway, every everybody's favorite, most powerful um, class J. I was about to call it Northern, but don't call it yeah, Northern no, no, on no, that no. railroad. But anyway, <coughs> going to be some nice trips out of Lynchburg, Roanoke, and Greensboro, North Carolina, and some more to come yeah. uh, in April and May. Now, with, with in the past couple of years, we've done some live streaming. Do you know if we're going to do that? With, yeah, I think case? we will. You know, and, and <coughs> it, it makes a lot of sense this year because we are doing a special magazine in June called Big Steam is Back. That's right. So get a plug in for that. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, obviously the 611 is part of that. And yeah, we'll take you out live with us. You know, one of the things that you guys have always asked us to do is take you, take you with us. So this is our way of taking you with us. That's it. right. Trackside with Jim and Trackside with whoever, with else. whoever else may be and, going. Uh, so it'll be fun. And, so they, yeah. and they'll be going up different grades this time. I, well, I, I saw looking at the schedule for 611, they're going to be going up Christiansburg grade in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go, um, what was the other one? Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge grade in, in the morning. mornings. So. so doesn't get any better than that. I mean, it's like, wow, morning, it's, the it's, afternoon, it's, and wake up the next day. NNW the steam engine on the NNW, on these legendary grades that it was built for. Wow. Pretty nice. For three days in a row, Memorial Day um, weekend. Pretty nice. Yeah, I should probably go for that, huh? Pretty nice, you should. I should. So, right. so anyway, yeah. enough, enough about that. Uh, you know, my, my only down note for this week was uh, I saw Huntington, West Virginia, lost its yes. day, station agent, yes. which is kind of sad. And a friend of mine mentioned to me the other day that they... They think, and I don't think we had this in our story, but maybe we can check back on it later. Mm -hmm. That may be the last agent in West Virginia. Really? Yeah. So right. we well, we'll check, check on that. We might want to check on that. Chase Gano, see. you've got your mission. you got a job now, buddy. Yeah. So go out, to, go out there and, and get it done. Yeah. No, they, so I had that on my list, and, uh, and also uh, Surface Transportation Board approving a, not a merger, but a purchase by the Geneseo Wyoming of 
Providence and Worcester up in uh, Connecticut and Massachusetts. Wow. That's another big one. That is a big one. I remember, I remember reading the stories back in the 60s whenever that got spun off yeah. into independence, and now here it is right. going under GNW's big flag, big yellow and orange flag. They, they were independent for so long. Yep. Stuck it, stuck not, it to the man. But no more. But no more. No, good for them. Good for them. Well, and we can't, we can't finish this week without talking about uh, Ron Zeal. Legendary photographer, uh, yeah. author, and, and primary photographer on one of my favorite books, Twilight of Steam Locomotives, Locomotives, quite a few other books. He inspired a lot of us back in the 60s to either go out and ride these things, photograph them, or you know, start chipping away at the rest and see what you can do. Yeah, it was fun. I, um, going back through, the, through our archive to find, out, to find out some more information to get some good photos. I mean, the first thing, the, the photo that we have on, on Newswire this week came from his wedding announcement. And, and he, he and his wife printed in their wedding announcement to say, um, sorry, we're not going to have a honeymoon. We're going to Africa to shoot steam We're going riding, riding trains. <laughs> Good for, for six them. weeks, Good which for was fun. And, and also doing the numbers, you know, Twilight of Steam Locomotives came out in 63? Yep. 63? I mean, that was, he was a pretty young guy. He was in his 30s yep. writing big, well-done volumes. And, and a completely different approach to what had been yeah. done up until that time. But, um, so anyway, our thoughts to, about Ron and uh, with his family this week. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Jim, I think it's now time for everyone's favorite part of the segment, trivia. So My favorite part. Yeah, absolutely. So we don't have it here, but Locomotive 2016 is the prize that we're giving out. It's what we're giving out for last week and what we're giving out for this week. Last week, the question was, name the U.S. shortline railroad that bought out a trucking and port company in the United Kingdom, England. Uh, and name, name the railroad, name the uh, company in the U.K. So and the remember, answer is? And the answer is, Genesee in Wyoming is a short line company, and then, excuse me, Pentalver Transport. Not a name I've heard, but it's a name that Genesee in Wyoming heard, and they liked it, and they bought it for buku dollars. So the uh, correct answer we're here, I wrote it in big letters so I wouldn't miss it, Chris Calton. Chris, if you could send me your address, and of course your name, so I know it's you, to newswire at trainsmag.com, newswire at trainsmag.com. I'll be sure to send you a copy of Locomotive 2016 in the mail, and it, it won't arrive in time for Christmas. I'm sorry about that, but it will arrive maybe by the end of this year. We'll see. And so, don't forget, newswire at trainsmag.com is also a good place to send news tips, photos, yes. and you can talk to Steve about video. I'm not sure we take video that way. I think we get it a we, different way. Yeah, that's but right. you can get that's send right. it in. But send me, if you have, if you have uh, railroad video on YouTube, if you're out chasing trains and you shoot like two minutes of, of video from your smartphone or from an iPad or something, and you put it on YouTube, send me a link to that. I'd be glad to take a look at it because, well, heck, we like to share it. There's always a news story happening, and there's, if you have video to go with it, well, that'll make it just that much better. Fantastic. So, we got a question for this week, we I do, think. And we do. Um, sorry to go back to D.C. Sorry to go back to D.C. What government agency this week says it will now start security training or involve itself with security training for locomotive engineers and conductors. Name the agency. Give me the full name, not the letters. Give me the full name of the agency that's going to do security training with locomotive engineers and conductors. And it's just a crazy, crazy, crazy week for that. Um, that's awesome. So, Jim, what, uh, what, what rail plans do you have for this weekend? What rail not, plans? Not a, not a whole lot. of it. probably be watching the train go around in yeah. circles under a tree. We're probably. That. We're, we're that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway. We're, we're going to be doing that, too. we got the... Lego train around the Christmas tree, so we'll be we'll be doing nice. that, and then uh, pretty pretty much photography if I can. And then you and I got to get it back together next week because next week we will be talking about the oh. top ten stories of 2016. That's so right. do not miss that edition of Newswire Video. That's right. We're going to tell you why we picked what we did. We might even you know share a few, few thoughts about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. So anyway, stay tuned for next week. From all of us at Trains Magazine, have a great holiday. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are jolly. Anything <laughs> 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 you want. It's good with me. Where's the Baileys? <laughs> oh, yeah, where's the Baileys?